Hi everyone. So recently I've reviewed the WL Toys 2428RC crawler, which is a 124 scale. And my main complaint about it was that it is it is too light and is way too bouncy. The friction dampers were way too bouncy. So I got an upgrade by RCA WD, which I want to test out and show you. So they sent me those oil-filled shocks which are designed for the Axio SCX24 but I'm pretty sure that they also fit for the WL Toys 2428 with extra springs and everything you need to fit them on your crawler. They come in different colors and I think red is a great fit for my crawler. They are adjustable and oil-filled. Let's check that out. And yes, there it is. Um, it's not much, but I guess I would just make the springs a little bit stiffer. So you get four of these and those extras and of course stickers. But that's not all they sent me. I also got these awesome crawler tires. They're beadlock tires with brass inside and the compound of the rubber outside is so soft. And grippy. And also great for ASMR videos. Okay, I'm getting a little bit carried away. Speaking of carrying, they actually carry some weight, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Because of the soft rubber and the foam filling, I am sure that they add to the dampening. So I will fit them first on my crawler and then later add the springs. I'm curious by how much more they weigh compared to the stock one. First of all, the stock ties from WL Toys. 15.3 gram. Now let's have a look at the RCA WD ones. That is more than triple the weight. Only 10 grams short compared to four of the stock tires. Altogether, a gain of 146 gram. Definitely less bouncy now. Now let's compare the weight of the shocks. Exactly 2 grams more compared to the stock one. Just remove the springs by popping them off on the top and on the bottom. Four times of course. The new shocks are 2 mm shorter, so I will lose some ground clearance and travel. Since the shocks are designed for the Axial SCX24, I cannot use the screws that the shocks are sent with. And instead I will have to find a way to make them fit with the original screws from WL Toys. So you have the shocks, those tiny rubber rings, then you have those brass parts to fit on your shocks, droop screws, which are different in width, so I cannot use them on the WL toy. After attaching the spring on top of the brass part, you will have to put the rubber on top to make sure it remains fit. It is a little bit fidgety and costs a little bit of nerve, but it's worth it. With the screws from WL Toys, it was even easier to fit those rubber rings on them. Only one take. Push the screw inside like that and then attach it to your crawler with an Allen key. And this is how it looks like when they're attached. Top and bottom. <laughs> Whoops. All set, let's bounce, but not too much. I gotta say, it looks so cool in daylight. So let's turn it on and see how everything performs. So first impression, with the added weight, it feels way less than a toy and more like an actual crawler. And here are some more impressions. Wow, I am really satisfied with those upgrades. 
The added weight and the performance make it so much more fun to crawl with it. Thanks to RCAWD for providing the upgrades for testing. I will put links in the description for everything. The crawler, the tires, the shocks for the SCX24 and the FCX24. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.